Hi everyone! So today I have my empties video that I want to film. Um, it's been quite some time since I filmed my Zape haul. That was much early in the, earlier in the morning. Now it's about 3.20. Um, I went on a super long walk with one of my friends, so I'm already at like over 13,000 steps, so I'm like a little tired, but I'm excited. I still want to film a few more videos today if I'm, if I'm able to. If I have the time, but um, yes, so let's just jump right into the empties because I have quite a bit. And then at the end, if we have some time, I might tack on just a small haul. But let's get started. I want to start really quick with the non wax stuff, and that's just a couple things from Bath and Body Works. So I finished up this Malibu Heat body lotion. Um, I don't know when this came out. I had to have purchased this from some kind of like semi-annual sale. And I wanna say I got it like a year or two ago. This says juicy pineapple, California orange, coconut flower, co creamy coconut milk, and sunny musk. This was great. I don't really ever have too much complaints about like the lotions and stuff as long as I like the scent. So this was good, I liked it. I don't think I'd necessarily like repurchase it, but it was good. Um, I have a Bath and Body Works, um, actually three Bath and Body Works gentle foaming hand soaps. The first one is Island Margarita, and I think I got this this past summer. And this says fresh squeezed lime with sea salt. This was really good. I used this in my kitchen. It definitely wasn't overly like a, you know, tart fresh squeezed lime at, by any means. It was just a really nice like citrusy um, scent. So I think this was a good kitchen scent. I also did afternoon apple picking. And this one I showed, I think I got this recently over the past summer as well. This says crisp apple, succulent pear, and cinnamon. I didn't really get succulent pear. I didn't really get cinnamon. This was more just like a nice apple scent. And then the last Bath and Body Works one was Crisp Morning Air, and I have had this many times in the past, obviously throughout the years, seasons, whatever, it's different packaging, but I've definitely had this before. And this says Fresh Pine, Juniper, and Juicy Pear. It's just crazy. I never used to pay attention to the Bath and Body Works, like scent notes that they list on the back of their products. But ever since I got kind of into the vendor wax world, I've paid closer attention to scent notes. And it's just funny, based off of all these scent notes, I don't think I would have purchased this, like, if I had read the scent notes. Like, if I was purchasing this online, I don't think I would have gotten it based off of the scent notes is what I'm trying to say. But the scent itself is great, and I've purchased it many times over. All right. Oh, one more non-wax item was this Scentsy Clothesline Laundry Liquid Sample. I used this um, one day, but I don't really have much to say about it because this was a very small amount. I must use just a ton of laundry detergent when I do laundry, I'm not sure, but this like definitely wasn't enough. So I don't know if I particularly noticed like a difference in my clothes or anything, but I'm not really picky when it comes to laundry detergent, but this scent was really nice. All right, now let's get into wax. And I think I'm just gonna start with my clamshell type of wax. So I'm gonna start with my Scentsy wax. The first one is Hug in a Mug. I really liked this one. This one definitely gave me like Tootsie Roll vibes. And yeah, the packaging gets a little like stained. Um, and I always write notes on the inside, so I remember because I melt through so much stuff, but Tootsie Roll vibes, but I really liked it. The scent to me was like a three, again, my scale of five being the highest, one being the lowest. So the scent to me on cold was like a three or a four, and then the throw was like a four or a five. This did really well, and I would consider repurchasing that. The next one I did did is Pumpkin Roll. And sorry, I'm trying to talk fast because I know I have a lot here, but um, yeah, so sorry, sorry if I'm going fast. So pumpkin roll, this was a very pretty pumpkin scent, um, pumpkin bakery. To me, this wasn't like a powerhouse scent by any means. It was kind of gentle when I was warming it personally, unless I just was 
becoming a little bit nose blind. Um, this was really pretty. I don't think this would bother anyone if you were um, warming this. It wasn't like too overpowering. Um, this wasn't a favorite though. Um, I would say the scent was like a three or four. The throw was like a three or four. Um, I don't think this would be an immediate repurchase. Maybe in the future, maybe like next season I would purchase this again. But as for now, I think I'm good with my pumpkin scents I have. The next one I have is Cinnamon Buttercream. I think this is a hit or miss scent for people because I feel like people either love it or don't love it. And I'm kind of in the don't love it boat. To me, this smelled like a melted stick of butter. I don't know. I, I, I don't really think I get any like cinnamon. I don't get, I mean, buttercream, I get butter. But when I think of buttercream, I think more of buttercream frosting and it's definitely not a frosting scent. Um, I'm glad to be done with this. I use this and I don't want to repurchase this one. I'd say the scent to me is like a one, maybe two but probably leaning more towards one but let me tell you the throw is super strong this is like a four or five maybe that's because to me i didn't love the scent so my nose was like very aware of what i was warming but um but yeah this this wasn't a favorite of mine and then the last scentsy one was vanilla bean buttercream this was good i liked it but there's something about this that like a little bit I got like play-doh vibes sometimes that happens with vanilla scents so it was okay I didn't get that right away but then the more I was smelling it the more I kind of got that play-doh clay vibe so I probably wouldn't jump to repurchase this one I think I have um, I have favorite vanilla scents from other vendors so I, I don't think I'd repurchase this the scent I'd probably say, at first I thought it was like a three, but when I started getting those Play-Doh vibes, it was more like a two. And then the throw was just average, like a three. So that was the Scentsy Empties. So next, let's let's move on to, I have two um, clamshells from Mainstays. So this is from Walmart. Um, and they're both the same scent, so I actually just did this yesterday, so if you saw my kind of vlog style video, I was um, refilling my warmers with this scent. Let me tell you guys, I think I went a tiny bit nose blind yesterday and I thought the scent wore off, but when I woke up today, I turned on all my warmers and the scent was still going strong. I definitely smelled it today. I, like I said, I went out on a walk with my friend. I came back around one o'clock in the afternoon so I, I wasn't home to change the wax. It was just my husband home and he doesn't change the wax. I came back and I'm still smelling this scent. So this has been going strong for like a day now and I'll probably just let it go um, until maybe like early evening and then I might change it out. But yeah, the mainstays um, wax seems to be a great performer. Um, so yeah, no complaints. I haven't tried any other mainstays yet though, but these two are really great. I don't know if I'd repurchase the scent. I don't know if it's a favorite, but the throw is incredible and it's lasting a very long time. The last clamshell I have is from Wit & Wax. I got this from a subscription box in July. I subscribed for one month and unsubscribed. Um, I, I just, I didn't love the scents I got in the sub subscription box. I had actually unsubscribed before I even got this in the mail. I just, I didn't want to be like tied down to a monthly subscription box. I wanted to have my budget be free for wherever vendor I wanted to spend it on. But I'm happy I unsubscribed. Um, let me just tell you though, this was a very strong performer. I think her wax did need time to cure because this did great it, it was super strong on the tea light so this is sebastian juicy melon orange and apple blossom sweet pink moscato and elderflower um i think i got kind of the orange apple blossom it did smell a little bit floral borderline perfumey to me i also think this would be a good body care kind of an item or kind of a scent 
and it it gave me a slight headache but I think it was because it was really strong I did this on a tea light um on cold I'd say this was like a three then when I was warming it I did like it a little bit more so I'd say this is like a four throw on like bulb or element warmers I think this was like average but on the tea light it was incredible it was like a five I just first of all I don't like clamshells that much and I don't think I'm going to repurchase from this vendor it's great nothing wrong with it um not my favorite scents and also so I just pulled up her Etsy site I I didn't know like I when I purchased this in July, I wasn't super familiar with like the vendor wax world. I wasn't super familiar at what other vendors price their wax at. Let me just tell you this clamshell. It's really hard to read, but down here it says two ounces. So this clamshell is two ounces and she sells her clamshells for $4.75. That seems a little bit high to me. Um, $4.75 for two ounces of wax. So I, I don't think I'm going to repurchase from this vendor, but no, I mean, no complaints. The wax itself did great. It just seems a little bit on the higher price, um, but it was fine. Um, and then I just wanted to say to purchasing in the subscription, I think made the wax price a little bit lower, but it's still a pretty expensive wax. All right, the next one I'm gonna talk through, I just have three glow scents this month. So two of them were these tiny like heart melts. So I'll just show you guys. So these are what this packaging looked like. One is called Romantic Wish Type and one is, one is called Ocean Mist. They were both great. They both performed wonderfully. Um, both of them I put equal as like a three or four scent and a three or four throw. I don't think I would repurchase this specific type of wax melt from her shop just because they were really tiny, like four little tiny, tiny hearts. I split them up into a few wax warming sessions, but I feel like the average person might just use all four in one go. So they were pretty small, um, but they were great, great performers. The scent, I, I enjoyed both of them. And then one more from Glow Sense is Black Opium. This was a an interesting one. So I got this actually as a freebie in one of my Glow Sense orders. Um, I didn't love the scent when I went and smelled it on cold. To me, there was something almost off about it, and I think it might be like a black licorice kind of a note. Because I think I went and looked this up, and I'm pretty sure black licorice is a note in this one. And I think that's what was throwing me off. The rest of the scent was really pretty, to me, slightly masculine and cologne-y, but the black licorice was just a little weird to me. But this one was really strong. I would say this was like a four out of five scent throw. Um, I did this one in our bathroom that's like right by our front door. And anytime we would walk out um, before we were leaving, getting our shoes on, whatever, I'd be like, Brian, are you wearing are you wearing cologne? But it was this one, so it was good. But there were just hints of some kind of note in there that was a little off to my nose. Um, oh, another one from Glow Sense. This is Witch's Brew. This is a scent shot cup. Don't mind the red splatter right here. I did drop it in a wax pool by accident. Um, this was okay. Again, not my kind of scent. I would say on cold, this was like a two to me. And then the throw though was like a four. This lasted a really long time and it was a really cool black wax. The The wax pool was completely opaque black. Um, should I look up the scent note really quick? Cause I can't even describe it right now, but it was very different to me. Um, so this witch's brew is rich earth notes blend with dark amber and exotic guac wood for a spell binding fragrance that captivates the senses so i don't know maybe it's guac wood that i'm not a fan of or maybe it was the rich earth notes i'm not sure but something about this just wasn't my favorite but i like to have scents that push me out of my comfort zone every now and again so um the next one i'm going to talk about is 
the only one I have from Bodies Harmony, which is Blueberry Pumpkin. I did this during a September wax melt challenge. One of the days it was like do a fruity pumpkin scent. So I pulled this one out. Scent says Blueberry Pumpkin BBW. So I guess that's a Bath and Body Works type. Salted Caramel and American Cream. I actually wrote some notes on this one when I warmed it. So at first I thought that I wasn't getting much of a strong scent throw. I did this on a tea light warmer, but then I noticed every time I would walk out into the living room, I definitely got something. And to me, for some reason, this reminded me of more of like a pumpkin patch hay note. So it was like blueberry pumpkin patch. That's what I got. To me, I think I got kind of a hay note. This is another one that gave me a little bit of a headache. Again, I I feel like I got some kind of weird hay note. I don't know why that's not in the scent description. I asked Brandon what he thought. He said that um, he said that it smelled like a blueberry maple and he didn't get a hay note. So, you know, everyone has different noses. Um, on cold, I thought this was like a four. I, I liked the scent. But on warm, which typically doesn't happen as often, I actually didn't like it as much. I bumped it down more to like a two or three, but throw was super strong. I would say this was like a four, maybe even five on the tea light warmer. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This one was a bit odd to me. I think it, I'm not like a fan of like hay notes. So again, this doesn't say there's hay in it, but that's just what my nose is picking up. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is, I only have one from Rose Girls. This I got from my Big Kahuna box. This is Lime Fizzy Pops. There's no scent notes on it, but it smelled like Lime Fizzy. Basically, I did this because I needed a small break from all the fall pumpkin scents I was doing the last couple weeks. Um, and this was great. This recalibrated my nose. This is exactly uh, something I needed. This isn't my typical go-to scent, but it was just something different that I wanted to, to warm in between all these fall scents. And it was great. This was super strong. I have no idea how old this is. It came in a big kahuna box. So it was definitely cured long enough, I'd assume. It was really strong. This was a great performer for me. Would I repurchase the scent? I don't know. I have a few other like fruity, fizzy scents that I think I'm going to go through first, but I feel like it's always nice to have like one fizzy scent um, in your wax collection for every now and again when you want it. So I liked that one. I have two from Lurid Apothecary. So the first one was a Circus Peanuts sample. I got this in one of my orders. It was like, you can kind of see the outline, just a chunk brittle shape. This was very light. I was excited to try it because I've never really had a peanut note scent before this. I barely smell this on cold and I did not smell it on warm so um, I don't know I, I put scent as a two only because it just, was just so light but I feel like it would be higher um, if I could smell it more and then throw like again like I really didn't smell this so I put like a zero I don't know maybe I needed a bigger amount maybe like the sample size wasn't enough but it was a pretty generous size so i'm not sure maybe the full size um would smell stronger i'm not sure or maybe this would have done better if i did it on an, on a tea light but i only had one one sample so i didn't have any more to try on the tea light the next one i did is sweet bum 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 type cream soda and vanilla cream this was good um it was the lightly the bum bum Sol de Janeiro scent. Um, to me, it wasn't super strong. It was very pretty, um, but very gentle, I'd say. Um, I did this on the tea light, and I think I did it around my apartment on bulb and element warmers. And yeah, even on the tea light, I don't think it smelled super strong, unless I was going a little bit nose blind, but to me, it was a bit gentler. And honestly, Bum Bum Cream Soda and Vanilla Cream, I think those are gentler scent notes. I don't think, I mean, I don't think Cream Soda or Vanilla Cream would be like a powerhouse scent by any means. 
So I'd say this was very average, if not a little lower, so like a two or three on the throw. Um, I have just two American Made Wax Co. Um, so Lucy in the Sky, I've already talked about this scent. But you know what? I enjoyed it a little bit more this time around when I warmed this. This is a very powdery floral scent. Um, the first time I warmed it, it was not a fave. This time I liked it a little bit more, so I don't know. It was like a two to me, but throw is like a five out of five, very strong. And then this American Made Wax Co. Don't Want No Shrubs, fires, Firewood Smoke, Grass, Musk, Fur Needles with a Hint of Cinnamon and Caramel. This was very strong. Um, the scent to me, it wasn't my favorite. It was very smoky, definitely got the smoke. And I did get a little bit of that like pine or I guess like the, the fur needles and maybe the grass scent. Definitely got no cinnamon and no caramel. This was a very smoky woodsy scent and the throw was like a four. It was, I definitely smelled it when I walked in the bathroom. Um, I have two Columbia Candle Supply wax melts that I finished. The first one is Blue Agave and Melon. I don't know. I had, I think I warmed and I reviewed in my last empties video a blue agave and bubblegum scent. And I don't know if that was in my head, but to me, I almost smelled a little bit of bubblegum when I melted this one. I don't know if that was maybe from the melon. I, I don't know, but this was okay. I didn't love it. I would probably say this is like a two for scent but the throw was like a four or five. This was very strong, but it wasn't a favorite of mine. Another one from Columbia Candle Supply is Skittles. So this is a very sweet candy scent, obviously, the Skittles candy. Um, and this was fine. I, this was average all around. This was like a three for scent and a three for throw. I enjoyed it. I think I have some more candy scents from Columbia Candle Supply. Um, I don't necessarily know if this would be a repurchase, but it was fine and I enjoyed it while I warmed it. I have a few scents from Little Blue, Co Little Blue Coop Soap, which is from Etsy. The first one I have is Everything Pumpkin Cake. This was one of her bunts, I believe. Again, kind of like the Scentsy Pumpkin Roll. This was just a very beautiful, pretty pumpkin bakery scent. Um, I don't think this was like a powerhouse scent. It was pretty good on the tea light. It was okay on the bulb and element warmers. The scent was like a three or four. The throw was like a three or four, but this one wasn't super long lasting um, unless I was going a little bit nose blind. Um, this was just a couple hours I smelled it and then I ended up changing it out. The next one I have is Peppermint Cookie and I don't know. This was a little bit strange to me. I thought I liked it on cold, but the more I smelled it and the more I was smelling it warming, for some odd reason, I almost got a slight dry erase marker scent. I know that's really weird, but I don't know if her peppermint blend's a little bit different than what I'm nor uh, used to. I don't know if it, her cookie scent is different. I don't know if both of them blended together is what made that slight dry erase marker scent but um yeah it wasn't my favorite because of that so this the scent to me was like a two but the throw was like a three or four i definitely smelled it um and then the last one i have is sugar cookie waffle i thought it was waffle because of the shape that it came in it was like a waffle shape but i really do think it's supposed to be sugar cookie waffle because this smelled like syrup to me, like maple syrup. This was a very sweet syrup scent. And that's what I got. I didn't get sugar cookies. I got very sweet maple syrup. So if you like maple syrup, you'll probably like this. I just was expecting a little more sugar cookie. Um, but it was fine. The scent was probably like a two or three. Maybe would have been higher if I smelled some sugar cookie. But this one was a pretty strong um, performer, I'd say it was, the throw was like a four. All right, you know, I'm kind of breezing through these. The next one I'm going to do, I have, um, did I show any? Hmm. 
I think this is my only Souls inspiration. So this is called Hopelessly Devoted to You. Candy corn whipped buttercream vanilla and sugar cookies. This was her brittle bag. So I used this a few different times and I loved it. It's a very good bakery frosting buttercream scent. To me, I think what came out the strongest was the whipped buttercream and the sugar cookies. Candy corn and vanilla, I think we're just making it even extra sweet. So this is a very, very sweet frosting buttercream kind of a scent. So you have to like sweet, sweet bakery scents, but I loved it. To be honest, when I make another purchase from Soul's Inspiration, if she has this on her site, I'd probably purchase it again. So next let's go into Broadway Wax. I really enjoy Broadway Wax. Um, she actually just did a fall ready to ship. I was this close to purchasing, but I ended up purchasing from like L3 and Rose Girls. And stuff. I just, I can't purchase from everyone, but I wanted to. <laughs> but anyway, Broadway Wax. So the first one I have is Cheery Breakfast, Starbucks coffee ice cream, cereal, marshmallow bar, and Cheery Cherry. This one was good. I. I didn't smell any coffee, but maybe because it's Starbucks coffee ice cream, it's just a creamier scent. Um, to me, this was more like marshmallow cherry. Um, to me, the cherry was the strongest scent in this. And I don't mind it. You know, I think Broadway Wax does a lot of cherry scents, or maybe I just purchase a lot of cherry scents from her. Um, but this was good. Um, it definitely wasn't like a medicine cherry by any means. I, th I thought it was really good. Um, but yeah, it was fine. The scent was like a three or four to me. The throw was probably like a three. This was like a snap bar. Um, I checked on your website because I was maybe going to make a purchase and this one was like sold out. This was only like three dollars though. So it's one of those that like it was good I, and I enjoyed it while I warmed it. And it was a pretty affordable price that like, I might just add it into my cart again if I saw it. You know what I mean? Like, not a favorite, but I enjoyed it. Um, then I have Broadway Wax Come to Mama Cupcakes at Tiffany's Frosted Animal Cookies and Candy Cream. I really like the scent. I, this is the one that I was trying to get when I made a Broadway Wax purchase in... I showed Broadway, Broadway Wax in one of my videos a few weeks ago when I did like... It was like a super chatty open mail with me. It was like an hour long video. This is one of the cupcakes I was trying to buy again. I really enjoyed this the first time I warmed it. Super strong in the element and bulb warmers. Like I'd say like a three or four throw wise. And scent on coal, I really enjoyed it like a four. Um, the first time I warmed it. The second time it did get a little bit on the cr the, the cream side. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I could see the candy cream, I think bothering some people. It was, I don't know, something about it the second time I warmed it almost made my stomach like turn a little bit because of that cream note. But the first time I warmed it, I really loved it. So I don't know. Um, I like cupcakes at Tiffany's. I like frosted animal cookies. So I'm assuming the note in there that was a little odd was candy cream, but I don't know. I'd give this one a try again, or I'd give another candy cream blend a try again from her. But you know, now I'm kind of fine that I didn't end up buying this in like a bigger quantity, but I did enjoy it. Um, Broadway Wax Soothing Sensations Oatmeal Milk and honey lavender marshmallow. This was good, very beautiful, very calming, pretty scent. Would be a great bath time scent, like if you want a relaxing wax melt while you're taking a bath. Um, this is one that I would describe as like a gentler scent, although these scent notes, oatmeal, milk, honey, lavender, marshmallow, I think these just are gentler scent notes. Um, but it was really good. Like I would say the scent to me was like a three or four and then the throw was like a three or four, I'd probably say. So it's a gentle, it's a gentle in the scent notes, but it was a good performer. So 
I'd probably buy this again if I saw it. And then the last Broadway wax is I Like to Whip. Caribbean Coconut Pineapple Whip Mango Papaya Strawberry Guava. This was really a strong performer. Definitely tropical fruit heavy. And you know what? I don't see a ton of vendors do like guava, papaya, mango. Like, so I feel like this was relatively a unique fruity blend. Um, I think what I got mostly is the mango, papaya, maybe pineapple. Um, this one I let go like the whole day. I didn't change my wax out halfway throughout the day because this was still going strong. Um, I am not as much of a fan of like the tropical fruit, fruit scents. My husband loved it though. He loves tropical fruit scents, so he really liked it. For me though, on cold, the scent was probably more like a two or three, but the throw was like a four. This was very strong. All right, then let's round it out with a few L3 Waxy Wonders um, scents. And I actually have quite a bit. So the first two were two samples. So the first one is Golden Ticket. And if I remember correctly, this is like an apple and pear scent maybe? It's apple mixed with one other fruit note. But to me, this is just straight up apple. I didn't get any other fruit note. Oh, I think it's supposed to be apple and citrus, but I, oops, I did not get citrus. I just got straight up apple, which happens to me a lot with L3 blends. Whenever she has apple scents, for some reason, usually I can only smell apple. So if you like apple, you'd like this. This was probably like a three all around. It was okay. Then we have Aquaman. This was a very wonderful performer. This was Ocean Waves and Sea Breezes. I put this in one of our bathrooms and this lasted like two days in the warmer. This was very, very strong and long lasting. I would say to me on cold and warming, the scent was like a two or a three. I don't know if I love her Sea Breezes scent, but um, the throw was like a four or five. I do have a two-pack bunch of this, so I will go through it, but I probably won't repurchase it once I finish that. The next one was Mac Apple Malo Fluff. Again, this was just an apple scent. Malo Fluff isn't a powerhouse scent by any means. It's probably creamed out the Mac Apple a little bit, but I only got apple. So this scent was like a three. I mean, I like apple. I don't dislike it. I just wish I spelled more of the other scent notes blended with apple. Um, but the throw was good. This was like a four, I'd say. I definitely smelled it. The next one I have is Pumpkin Mac Apple. Again, I only smelled apple. So I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's pretty much the same as the other ones I just talked about. Strax Acid Bath. So this was a puppy pack. I really like this scent. It's a pure nose clearing mint scent with no sweetness. I mean, the scent notes are Boogie Be Gone, which is Vicks Vapor, Vapor Rub, Peppermint and Rosemary Mint. So there is no bakery or other sweeter note in it. It's just, it's just mint. So for me, I liked it. Um, my husband definitely liked it. He likes the straight up mint scents. I think I prefer mint with a little bit of bakery or mint with a little bit of lavender, like something blended. Um, I don't know. I think something about it. I love peppermint. I do like rosemary mint. So maybe it's the bo boogie be gone that I don't love as much. Um, yeah, I liked it. It did well. I definitely smelled it when I walked into the room, but I wasn't like blown out of the room with like mint for whatever reason. I thought this was going to be like super strong. It was strong. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like overwhelmingly strong. Um, but yeah, the scent was probably a three or four and the throw was like a three, I'd say. I'm curious to see if the scoopable is like a little bit stronger. Again, don't get me wrong, it was strong. I just thought it would be like very like, once you walk into the room, it's like you're like drowned in mint scent. Um, you definitely smelled it, but it didn't overwhelm me, so. Um, the next ones are all Hufflepuff blends. I warmed half of my Hufflepuff sampler. So these are just grouped together. Not all of these are from the Hufflepuff sampler, but it's some kind of Hufflepuff blend. So that's why I put it together. 
So the first one was just a sample. This was fine. To be honest, I don't know if this chunk was too small, but I didn't really smell this when I warmed it. I love Hufflepuff, but for whatever reason, the sample didn't do very well. I also had Hufflepuff Today is October 3rd Danish Butter Cookies. I can't remember what shape this was. It says it was like a wax sample. I got this in a mystery box, so maybe it I don't know, it was just overstock or something, but it was a generous size. I just can't remember what it was. Maybe a cloud cake? I don't know. This is Hufflepuff. Today is October 3rd, Danish Butter Cookies. I like the Danish Butter, butter Cookies and I like the Hufflepuff. I think I'm on the fence with the Today is October 3rd. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the Palo Santo. Maybe I'm not like a huge fan of that, but um, this was good. I just, I don't know. I just think... I just think that today is October 3rd. I think I smelled that, um, but it was good. I'd say the scent was like a three or four and the throw was like a four. I need to, I need to chop up my today, today is October 3rd um, loaf and see how I like it by itself, but I don't know. I don't know if it's a favorite, but I know it is a popular blend. Um, again, here's just a Hufflepuff. This is from her Harry Potter Owls from her June presale. Um, I love this scent. Like, I love the Hufflepuff scent. And I don't know if it's me going nose blind, but for some reason, I don't think Hufflepuff scent is that long lasting though. When it's going the first few hours, it's a powerhouse. It's amazing. I love the scent. But after like three hours, I don't really smell too much anymore. But again, when I'm sitting in my apartment the whole day and I don't leave. It could be a me problem just being nose blind, but I warm this a few different times and I just don't feel like it's that long lasting. So I don't know. So scent is like a four or five. I love it. Throw was like a four. Like I said though, longevity just wasn't super great. Then these four are from the Hufflepuff sampler. Late night cookie therapy Hufflepuff. So this is cookie therapy, blueberries, and sweet cream. This one was good. I definitely got blueberries, definitely got blueberry strong. To me, this was more of a bakery warm blueberry, not like a fresh picked blueberry, but like a blueberry baking in the oven or blueberry muffin kind of a scent. Um, I don't really think I got much Hufflepuff in this one. I think it was pretty much just blue blueberry or maybe just the late night cookie therapy is what I was smelling. Although I really just smelled blueberry. Like I didn't get cookie, cookie therapy, which can be a little bit pretzely. Didn't get that either. This was like, it was okay. I'd say it was like a three um, for scent. Like I enjoyed it while I warmed it. Throw on bulb and element warmers was like a four and the tea light, it was like a five out of five. Very strong. But again, this Hufflepuff sampler for some reason, like I don't feel like the scents last a super long time. I definitely definitely am ready to change the scent out halfway through the day. Then I have Don't Cross Streams Hufflepuff. This was good, but to be honest, I'd rather just have Hufflepuff by itself. I think the Don't Cross Streams just creamed it out, made it a calmer version of Hufflepuff, and I prefer the Hufflepuff scent on its own. So this was fine. I mean, the scent, I did enjoy it. It was like a three or four, and the throw was like a three or four. Again, I've already said this though, like longevity wasn't super great. Um, then the next one is Cookie Therapy Hufflepuff. This one actually was heavier on the Hufflepuff on cold and I think I only smelled Hufflepuff on cold, but I definitely did start getting that Cookie Therapy while it was warming. So I would say this was kind of an even blend of both on warm. Scent to me was like a four throw though throw wasn't great. I smelled it when I went up and sniffed the warmers up close, but if I was just walking through my living room, I didn't really smell too much. I don't know if that was me being nose blind, being used to the scent, or if it truly wasn't that great of a performer, but I said the throw was like a two, borderline even one. Like I really only smelled it while I was, when my nose was like up basically right in front of the warmer. So I don't know. Not sure about this one. Maybe it was me going nose blind. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys thought if you warmed the Hufflepuff sampler. And then the last one was Cider Lane Hufflepuff. 
I'm not a fan of L3 Cider Lane. On cold, to me, this smelled like black olive juice or like black olives, baked black olives on like a pizza, which I like, but I don't like as a scent. I asked my husband what he thought of the scent on cold. He said it smelled like rubber. I don't know. Either way, we both didn't really like this scent. It was better on warm. I definitely started getting that Hufflepuff come out a bit more on the on warm. I just, I don't love L3 cider. I'm not sure. And I've seen other people comment that they love cider, but L3 cider is just not it. It's just, there's something a little off with it. Um, so the scent to me was like a one or two, but the throw was strong. I feel like scents that you don't really love, you tend to smell extra strong. So to me, this was like a three or four uh, throw wise. But um, yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't purchase any more L3 Cider Lane blends. So you guys, that is it. We went through all my empties this month, or I guess this week. Or maybe, I think I do these like bi-weekly. So that was everything I warmed um, since the last empties video. Now you guys, super quick, I'm going to close out this video with a small haul. I did go to Bath and Body Works and Target today. I'm going to show the Target really quick first because it's barely anything. I went to a different Target that I went to before and I saw these two um, wax melts and I thought it was so cool. So these are Sense of Three, which remind me of the Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay scents that Target used to carry, but now they just carry Threshold. So the, these are so cool. These are three different scents in each of these clamshells. So the first one is Pumpkin Spice, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bean Amber. I'm pretty sure I have Vanilla Bean Amber by itself. But look at there's like three rows with each of the scents. I think this is super cool and I'm excited to warm it, but I will say when there's the three scents in a row, I feel like the scents kind of blend and mesh together. I don't know. I mean, I think I can kind of smell a difference when I smell each individually, but I don't know. We'll see how they warm. I think it's cool though. And I've never seen these at Target before. I probably will do two of these rectangles in one warmer. So this is probably like two melts for each scent. But I don't know, let me guys, let me know if you guys have seen these. This is the first time I saw it in um, this Target I went to today. And then same kind of idea, but this one's lavender, white tea, eucalyptus, leaf, and tangerine ginger. This was just randomly placed on the shelf. Like I didn't see any other one. So I don't know if this is the last of like this, I don't know, maybe this was a summer scent, but yeah, same thing. I thought this was just kind of fun. I think this smells really good. So I just got those two wax melts and then I found this on like an end cap that I thought was just kind of cool. And this is an EOS Hay Pumpkin Lip Balm Duo. And we have Whipped Pumpkin Latte and Salted Caramel Macchiato. So I just thought this was fun, like a fun seasonal chapstick to try. I can't get enough chapsticks, right? I just thought this would be kind of fun. So I'll let you know how these two smell when I open them. So that's just a really tiny um, haul from Target. And then I have a few things from Bath and Body Works. I didn't have any coupons, so I just got the six for, six for what is it? Six for 27 hand soap deal i would have gotten more if i had a coupon but i stayed strong and just just got the hand soap so the first one is sweet cinnamon pumpkin and this says um harvest pumpkin spiced clove and sugar cane so i'm excited i'm not really gonna smell these i think this really comes out when you like actually use it while you're washing your hands so just more watch out for a review when I do an, my next empties video. I forgot to mention with the, the empty soap, I always feel like I get really good like scent when I wash my hands. Like I can always smell the scent linger on my hands for a little bit of time, not super long, but right after I wash my hands and dry it and if I smell my hands, I can always smell the, the scent on there pretty well. So I, I really enjoy Bath & Body Works hand soap. The next one is pumpkin cupcake. 
and this says baked pumpkin whipped vanilla frosting and golden honey there was one scent that i was really looking for which was the strawberry pound cake but it, they must not have it anymore it must be a summer scent i saw a small display of the strawberry pound cake like body mist body wash body lotion but there was no soap otherwise i would have gotten one of those too but um yeah so pumpkin cupcake the next one i got is pumpkin pecan waffles and this is maple syrup golden waffles and pumpkin spice and i will say bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles and i've i've um actually just recently had a comment on one of my videos um i think bath and body works pumpkin pecan waffles is way sweeter than bender pumpkin pecan waffles um i think you definitely get the maple syrup in bath and body works but to me vendor pumpkin pecan waffles is a really nice bakery and not not as sweet i'm sure to some people it is super sweet but um to me it's almost more like a zucchini bread kind of a scent when i smell vendor wax pumpkin pecan waffles so i don't know i'll see how this one goes but i have a feeling it's going to be pretty sweet on like the maple syrup end then we have marshmallow pumpkin latte and this is creamy pumpkin toasted marshmallow and warm praline i love their packaging there was a few times where i was like grabbing the same scents by accident just because there was like it was in different packaging in the store um and I, I just love their packaging it's so cute the next one is white or sorry this is from white barn i guess Oh, are they all from White Barn? Oh, some say Bath and Body Works, some say White Barn. This is Frosted Cranberry. And this is Frosted Cranberry, Red Delicious Apple, and Blonde Wood. But I have a feeling I'm going to smell the cranberry the most when I use this one. And then the last one to round out this haul is Toasted Vanilla Chai. And this is Whipped Vanilla, Spun Sugar, and Winter Spice. So yeah, that was my empties and small haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have warmed any of the scents that I warmed or have tried any of these Bath and Body Works hand soaps. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!